हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक डैम्पिंग लॉगारिदमिक डिक्रीमेंट एंड क्रिटिकल डैम्पिंग रेजिस्टेंस लेट्स एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक डैम्पिंग In case of ballistic galvanometer, when a coil is placed in between the permanent mag magnets, that experience a torque. Throughout that of coil, current is passed. So. that torque is experienced in another processes means an external factors are responsible to overcome that torque let us say mechanically the suspended coil is subjected to various mechanical damping processes there will be a phosphor bronze that connected to the coil and that coil experienced a torque which is in between the two permanent magnets for example here the viscosity of the atmospheric air will produce a damping torque and that damping torque is directly proportional to the angular velocity of the coil here is the phosphor bronze throughout that coil is rotated due to the viscosity of air that produced a damping torque and that damping torque is directly proportional to the angular velocity of the coil if the angular velocity increases it indicates that the damping torque will be increased again another aspects that one due to the mechanical damping process mechanical damping process another cause for damping due to electromagnetic source how electromagnetic source is responsible for damping when the coil rotates due to the flow of current in it as we say a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field throughout it here the coil rotates due to the flow of current in it and that placed in that of magnetic field due to the permanent magnet so a magnetic field will induce a voltage and that voltage is proportional to the instantaneous angular speed this induced voltage will oppose the motion of the frame and hence to that of coil therefore the coil tends to come to rest and so the motion of the coil is damped and this type of damping is called electromagnetic damping okay two types of damping we observe here one due to that mechanical one and another due to the electromagnetic source these two are responsible for damping that coil and this process of damping is said to be electromagnetic damping here we observe that induced voltage cause the eddy currents 
and uh, which are produced in the metallic frame due to the change of magnetic flux that are linked with that of frame. A relation between charge Q with the charge flow or we can say passed through that of ballistic galvanometer and the deflection is alpha. So, the relation between charge and deflection is equal to Q is equal to T by 2 pi that we have studied in case of ballistic galvanometer K divided by N B A alpha alpha the deflection as far as the deflection is concerned we can easily measure how exactly the amount of charge flow through that of ballistic galvanometer. That mathematical expression is derived as we take damping to be totally absent and the entire kinetic energy of that of coil is used for twisting the suspension through an angle alpha and the coil's motion is damped due to the viscosity of air and also due to the opposing current induced in the coil which rotates the field of permanent magnet of that of galvanometer. These two are responsible for damping, but this expression we derived without damping. Here we consider damping is absent. Let we try to minimize the electromagnetic damping by winding the coil on a non-conducting frame such as uh, ebonite, ivory or bamboo, then the viscosity of air cannot be ignored. Two types of damping, one due to electromagnetic source that can be neglected by taking the procedure as uh, take the ebonite ivory or bamboo to minimize the electromagnetic damping to minimize the viscosity of air is not our control or we cannot be ignored the viscosity of air. Therefore, the coil oscillates and decreasing amplitude with the passage of time and that amplitude is exponential that can be shown through a figure. Let me draw the graph between time deflection or a displacement deflection or displacement alpha here. The graphs looking like exponentially decreasing. that electromagnetic damping which is arises when a closed circuit moves in a magnetic field and that magnetic field is uniform. Thus, the observed deflection is smaller than its 
true deflection here the expression the deflection term that is the observed deflection which is smaller than that of true deflection as there will be some error due to electromagnetic damping. So, this is electromagnetic damping. Next logarithmic decrement or we can say it as logarithmic damping. Logarithmic decrement or logarithmic damping. The logarithmic decrement measures the rate at which the amplitude of oscillatory motion dies away. Gradually the amplitude decreases and the rate at which the amplitude gradually decreases that can be determined by using logarithmic decrement. And let us uh, study why actually a correction is needed. Why the correction is needed? Why the correction is needed? When the observed deflection is smaller than its true value, when that current is passed through the coil placed in the magnetic field of ballistic galvanometer. As we discussed in the previous one, the observed deflection is smaller than its true value. That is why a correction is needed to get the actual deflection. Therefore, we take alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 with the successive deflections these are the successive deflections observed at the end of first second third like swings of the coil. And similarly, alpha 1 alpha 3 alpha 5 are the deflections on one side of the rest position and alpha 2 alpha 4 alpha 6 are on the other side. Other side. From the observation, it is found that it is found that the ratio of alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equal to alpha 2 by alpha 3 is equal to alpha 3 by alpha 4 up to alpha n minus 1 to alpha n is equal to d. Let me say that is d and the d the term d is a constant 
a constant which is known as decrement for half vibration that is the decrement for half vibration and if we take log of this log of that constant is known as the logarithmic de decrement and is denoted by lambda which is known as logarithmic decrement this is the constant d and log of that constant is known as logarithmic decrement denoted by lambda so the logarithmic decrement is defined as the logarithmic decrement is defined as it is defined as the logarithmic of the ratio of the logarithmic of the ratio of two successive maximum amplitudes of oscillation which are separated by one time period which are separated by one time period we consider the ratio of successive maximum amplitudes and uh, the time period of separation between them is 1 this is the definition of logarithmic decrement this is the definition of logarithmic decrement so you take log of d is equal to lambda therefore d is equal to e to the power lambda log d is equal to lambda so taking the anti log d will be e to the power lambda hence for half of vibration the decrement is hence for half vibration the decrement is alpha 1 by alpha 2 is equal to alpha 2 by alpha 3 is equal to alpha 3 by alpha 4 up to alpha n minus 1 by alpha n is equal to e to the power lambda for half vibration. Similarly, for full vibration for full vibration full vibration the decrement is the decrement is it is e to the power lambda that will be e to the power 2 lambda similarly for a quarter vibration this is half vibration this is full vibration for quarter vi vibration means one fourth of that vibration what should be the decrement similarly for quarter vibration quarter vibration uh, the decrement is the decrement is that will be e to the power lambda by 2 e to the power lambda by 2 for quarter vibration vibration will be half then the decrement e to the power lambda 
full vibration the decrement is e to the power 2 lambda for quarter vibration that will be lambda by 2 for quarter vibration the decrement will be lambda by 2 and so on that process occurred uh, that is the damping correction the quarter vibration decrement will be e to the power lambda by 2 that will be the damping correction to be applied to the very fast deflection of the top coil which is e to the power lambda by 2 because the coil simply makes half the swing as it moves from mean position to the extreme position. So, here e to the power lambda by 2 that term e to the power lambda by 2 is taken as that is that is used for damping correction damping correction why e to the power lambda by 2 for quarter vibration is used for damping correction because the damping correction to be applied to very fast deflection of the top coil and which is e to the power lambda by 2 which is quarter vibration. Therefore, therefore, hence if alpha 1 is the first throw, is the first throw, then the corrected throw alpha in the absence of damping is given by it is alpha by alpha 1 is equal to e to the power lambda by 2 we use the damping correction term or alpha is equal to alpha 1 times e to the power lambda by 2 expanding e to the power lambda by 2 the expansion we have alpha 1 1 plus lambda by 2 plus dot 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 since another terms containing lambda is very small and the terms containing the square of lambda, cube of lambda are neglected. Here we take only two terms. Therefore, alpha is equal to alpha 1 of 1 plus lambda by 2. Another terms are neglected. So, the corrected term, the first throw is corrected for damping by multiplying the observed throw with a factor 1 plus lambda by 2 this is the first throw the observed throw is multiplied to the first throw to that of factor 1 plus lambda by 2 therefore therefore knowing the value of uh, lambda alpha we can easily calculate the correct value and the expression for charge q is equal to t by 2 pi k divided by n b a into alpha in place of alpha we substitute that is alpha 1 times 1 plus lambda by 2 here we take first throw si similarly by taking second throw third throw the values are calculated a question arises how we calculate the value of lambda how to determine the logarithmic decrement lambda so here we have to prefer a capacitor which is charged and then that capacitor is connected to that ballistic galvanometer and that 
capacitor discharge the charge through that of ballistic galvanometer. Here let we take alpha 1 be the first throw. Let we take here what are the observations to determining lambda to determine lambda that capacitor charging capacitor is connected to that of ballistic galvanometer and here alpha 1 be the first throw first throw and uh, successively throws are drawn and alpha 11 be the 11th throw 11th throw and here alpha 1 divided by alpha 11 is equal to e to the power 10 lambda by using that formula here. So, lambda is equal to lambda is equal to 1 by 10 log alpha 1 by alpha 11 base e. So, log of base e can be written as 2.302 log alpha 1 alpha 11 base 10 in this way lambda is calculated for this we have to charge the capacitor and the charge capacitor is connected to that ballistic galvanometer to calculating lambda so finally calculating lambda and alpha the charge can be easily calculated this is the corrected deflection means the observed deflection in correct way that is for logarithmic decrement next critical damping resistance known as CDR critical damping resistance what is critical damping resistance <coughs> a ballistic galvanometer will oscillate if it has not been properly damped if that is not damped then it will be oscillate and by inserting a suitable short resistance Sont resistance means very low resistance uh, which is parallel to the terminals of the ballistic galvanometer we can damp the galvanometer by taking the resistance to that of val ballistic galvanometer we can damp that particular galvanometer and depending on that of uh, resistance to that of galvanometer the resistance of a galvanometer at which the oscillations just stop is called the critical damping resistance. What value of resistance? The damping or we can say the oscillation stopped for that of ballistic galvanometer. Then we say that particular point of that of resistance, the value of that of resistance for that of resistor is known as critical damping resistance for that of ballistic galvanometer. Depending on the resistance, we can say either uh, that one is critically damped or uh, over damped means more resistance which is known as under damped and for less resistance, we can say it will be the over damped situation. When that galvanometer is critically damped, it will make one swing and return slowly to its zero position. Generally, critical damping is used for damping in linear systems on the threshold between oscillatory and the exponential behavior. So, the situation of electromagnetic damping 
logarithmic damping and uh, critical damping resistance can be easily understood by taking a LCR circuit. So, here we take LCR circuit inductor having inductance L, a resistor having resistance R and a capacitor having capacitance C are connected parallelly to the source. Here, the total electromagnetic energy of that of circuit, which is the sum of electrical energy and magnetic energy, and the decrease of that of energy throughout the time, because some portion of that of energy is transformed to thermal energy in the resistance R. Due to the loss of energy, the oscillations of charge, current and potential difference continuously decrease in amplitude and the oscillations are said to be damped. So, here the expression of the total electromagnetic energy U total electromagnetic energy of the circuit U is equal to that is the sum of electrical energy and magnetic energy that is the sum of magnetic energy magnetic energy u b plus electrical energy electrical energy u e look here the component resistor cannot produce electromagnetic energy. So, here the electromagnetic energy produced by inductor and capacitor therefore, the total electromagnetic energy U is equal to magnetic energy U B magnetic energy is produced due to that inductor that will be half L I square plus electrical energy is produced due to capacitor that will be half Q square by C and that capacitor is fully charged and that charge be Q, otherwise it will be not possible. Here L the self inductance of the coil, self inductance of the coil C capacitance of the capacitor of the capacitor Q the charge stored in that of capacitor I with the amount of current passed amount of current passed throughout that of circuit. Look here we know from Joule's law, if I amount of current is passed through that of resistor R, the en heat energy S is produced as I square RT, that will be the I square RT 
heat energy is produced. So, heat energy loss is nothing that is rate of change of energy. So, the differentiating the total energy with respect to time that from Joule's law from Joule's law from Joule's law we have d u by d t is equal to heat is nothing that is the energy. So, minus i square r negative sign indicates gradually the heat is lost equation number 1 that will be equation number 2. Therefore, in place of u I can substitute these values the negative sign indicates the total energy u decreases because energy is transferred to the thermal energy means heat is lost. So, d u by d t d by d t of in place of u is half l i square plus half u square by c is equal to minus i square r ok or its differentiation that is l i d i by d t plus q by c d q by d t that to this side plus i square r is equal to 0 or here we take d q by d t as i here you implement i is equal to d q by d t therefore l i d i by d t plus q by c i plus i square r is equal to 0. So, i taking as common l d i by d t plus q by c plus i square r is equal to 0. Therefore, this term will be 0 since i will not be 0 if i not equal to 0. Therefore, l d i by d t plus q by c plus i square r is equal to 0 and here we introduce current i is equal to d q by d t. Therefore, d i by d t is equal to d square q by d t square is a not differentiation. Therefore, we write l d square q by d t square plus and uh, dividing L on both sides the term will be let that term is written as R by L in place of here I will be there since I taking as common that is d q by d t 
डी क्यू बाई डी टी प्लस क्यू बाई सी क्यू बाई एल सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एल इज डिवाइडेड ऑन बोथ साइड्स फॉर आर कन्वीनियंट वी कैन यूज डी स्क्वायर क्यू डी टी स्क्वायर प्लस टू एल बाय सॉरी आर बाय टू एल आर बाय टू एल डी क्यू बाय डी टी प्लस क्यू बाय एल सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्यू देर फोर हियर वी पुट वी पुट आर बाय टू एल इज इक्वल टू बीटा विच इज नोन एज द डैम्पिंग कंस्टेंट डैम्पिंग कंस्टेंट आर बाय टू एल एंड वन बाय एल सी विच इज नोन एज ओमेगा नट स्क्वायर ओमेगा नट स्क्वायर सो दैट इक्वेशन इज रिटेन एज डी स्क्वायर क्यू डी टी स्क्वायर प्लस टू बीटा डी क्यू बाय डी टी प्लस ओमेगा नट स्क्वायर क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो द सल्यूशन सल्यूशन टू द एबव डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फॉर डैम्ड ऑसिलेशन सल्यूशन फॉर डैम्ड ऑसिलेशन वी हैव क्यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू नॉट ई टू द पावर माइनस आर बाय टू एल इंटू टी कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव दैट बी द सल्यूशन ऑफ दिस डैम्ड ऑसिलेशन एंड हियर ओमेगा ओमेगा which is equal to 1 by lc minus r by 2l square square root 1 by lc that is omega not square minus beta square square root and that omega is known as angular frequency angular frequency of electromagnetic damped oscillation for electromagnetic damped oscillation damped oscillation electromagnetic damped oscillation and where omega not omega not is the angular frequency of on damped oscillation here omega not angular frequency for on damped oscillation on damped oscillation so that uh, particular expression describes the sinusoidal oscillation With exponentially decaying amplitude, and that exponentially de decaying amplitude will be q naught times e to the power minus r by 12 into t. So, if we we plot a graph between look here for logarithmic decrement. What exactly happened here? For logarithmic decrement, logarithmic decrement, for logarithmic decrement, if uh, we have to calculate by taking the ratios of voltages of the successive maxima of the amp oscillatory signals. 
for damped oscillation the log decrement is equal to lambda is equal to ln v1 v2 which is equal to r by 12 into t r by 12 which is the damping constant into t that is the log logarithmic decrement is calculated here for damped oscillation for damped oscillation and again for critical damping for critical damping situation for critical damping for critical damping what is the observation point that term that particular term will be zero means 1 by lc minus r divided by 2l square is equal to zero which is equal to the resistance is said to be critical so r critical is equal to 2 times under root of l by c that is the expression for r critical for critical damping look here how exactly the exponential varying of that of voltage look here here i can draw that one if i plot the graph between voltage and time here the time here be the voltage voltage so the graph looking like this exponentially decaying here are the voltages let v1 be the voltage v2 be the voltage so the logarithmic decrement ln v1 by v2 that can be calculated and the critical damping that be the mathematical expression for critical damping or critical resistance this is the graphical way how exponentially that damped oscillation varying of that of damped oscillation exponential way of varying okay this is the graphical view so with the help of this visual exercise we understand electromagnetic damping logarithmic decrement and critical damping resistance ctr critical damping resistance ctr with the example of lrc circuit we can examine this three damping one is electromagnetic damping logarithmic damping and critical damping situation this is the graphical view so with this useful uninformative notes let me wind up this session thank you